We learn about wars in history textbooks, the causes and effects, but what of the aftermath? Meanwhile, fighter aircraft are poised to swoop down and rake Viet Cong troop concentrations. The concentration of the bombing was so... Dory Shimoda knows all about these legacies of war. He has devoted his life to eradicating bombies or unexploded ordinances from Laos. All in all, in Laos, there were about two million tons of bomb dropped. That represented 580,000 uh, missions by the U.S. Bombies are small tennis ball sizes of bombs that were packaged up in a large bomb shell and it housed anywhere 600 to 1,000 in a bomb shell. To Laos in 19... This is Mr. Ye Lee, a double amputee who lost his legs in a bombie explosion. Mr. Ye Lee has been given artificial legs by COPE, an organization that provides prosthetic limbs. For two years, Jack has worked at COPE, helping bombi victims. We got the reports from in, the, uh, in 2012, so over 4,000 people that you know, in the home country. Or, you know, you know, Although COPE has good intentions, without necessary resources, there are many issues. This lack of support doesn't only pertain to prosthetics. For example, Yang Li, Mr. Ye Li's son, had to quit school to support his family after Mr. Ye Li's accident. Not only are there victims who need help, there are also Laotians at risk of becoming victims. Unfortunately, the task of clearing Laos of bombings is enormous. Mr. King Pitt knows this well. As the head of UXO Laos, a government organization whose mission is to destroy bombies, he has been chipping away at this mammoth problem for over 17 years. UXO Laos is the province of 17 years. 17 years. We clear the area in Sinkhuang, only 0.31%. Whenever a Laotian discovers a bombie, they're encouraged to report it to organizations like UXO Laos. UXO Laos will head to that location, and using sophisticated metal detectors, they identify any bombies in that area. At this point, using C4, they will detonate the bombies from a safe distance. But there are certain setbacks. Even some people who want to help are unable to, because of traditional gender role restrictions. Despite this, some women, like Ms. Pinsut, have taken initiative. How can we attempt to alleviate the legacies of war? How can we help all the innocent who are suffering? These are the questions that we must start asking. Not the